everyone. This is Darla with Inspirational Moment. Thank you for tuning in to receive an inspirational message from God. I will be your host today. Thank you for listening in and receive your inspirational message. Check us out on Spreaker Radio, Google Radio, and iHeartRadio, and our own YouTube channel, Dr. John Williams Elite Hour. Hi everybody, how's everyone doing today? I just looked on the radio and it looks like we're going to get quite a bit of snow. You know, do you ever think if you have a fearful heart? Fear is a powerful emotion that all of us face. It can come up when we are faced with danger or sometimes when we have nothing to fear. Beyond just the emotion of fear we face at times, we can be carrying a fearful heart that is afraid of many things. <clears throat> fear in the heart often stems from unhealed pain, and we are afraid of being hurt again. We tend to be wary of anything that could cause us pain. You know, fear in our hearts will always keep us in the exercise of protecting ourselves. We put that guard up. We don't want to be hurt again. We don't want to let people in again that has hurt us. It is hard to trust people when we are fearful. We are suspicious as anyone could be because of a hurt or a disappointment in our lives. We are afraid of our future and are unable to hope and trust in the Lord to keep us and protect us. When we are walking in fear, we are also ending up being controlled by things we fear. Today, are you carrying a fearful heart? Does God walk with you in freedom or in fear? As we are children of God, we are loved by God, and are given in a spirit of, of adoption and not a spirit of fear. The power of fear over us is broken, and we are free to live abundantly and love freely because love dries out fear. Do you worry? Are you consumed with worry? I know so many of us worry about things. Like I'm always worrying about my boys because they're spread all over the place. And I'm just worrying if they're okay, if you know what they're doing. You know, you're not alone. There are endless supplies of things to worry about. Both in our world today, in our personal lives. You know, it can consume us and it can distract us from living in the moment. From being in tuned with God's voice in our life. Have you ever stopped in the midst of all your worry? It's hard to do. And consider how obsessive worry impacts our relationship with God. And his will for your life. While you wrestle with anxiety filled thoughts you are consumed and robbed of a gift to live in the present moment. And in the present moment, God does his work, and that's where we want to be. When you worry about the future or the present, it empties the strength you get today. Worry produces fear and anxiety. Worriers often live in a cycle of fear and anxiety. Just constantly, just, you know, like a hamster on a wheel. It's going round and round and round and round and finally it stops. And it's completely exhausted. This kind of worry that you have goes beyond being healthy. And it concerns places in your life. It gives you such a state of painful uneasiness. The anxiety disturbs your mind and there's complete turmoil in your thinking. Thoughts have become an obsessive to the point where you cannot function 
You have just worried, worried yourself sick. I know you've heard that before, but you know what? Worry is a spiritual battle. God has not given us the spirit of fear. He has not given you the obsession to worry. Fear or terror, somebody else has. That is the devil. The devil would like nothing more than to distract you from God and who God wants you to be today. Many of us are tempted to worry. I have been tempted to worry. And I have worried. And you know what? Worry is sin. Recognizing obsessive worry is a spiritual battle that makes all the difference. First, it reminds you that you won't win the war on worry in your own strength. We need God's strength. We need to give him all our worries. We need to bring everything to him. In Philippians 4, 6 through 7, it says, Don't be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer, petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds. You know, God has provided a way out of obsessive worry. And it's through Jesus, through our prayer life. When we turn our worries into prayers, it's not that our worries will go away, but they are transformed from a destructive worry to constructive concern. Now we have handed over our worry load to the Lord. And he has control over everything. Settling into worrisome situation, an anxious state of mind is not comfortable. It gives us so much anxiety. And the scripture encourages us to give all our worries to God because we need to be strong and courageous and not be afraid and not be discouraged. Because God will be with us wherever we go. I love that. Joshua 1, 1, 9. Don't be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord God will be with you wherever you go. Take your worries to the Lord in prayer and leave them. Don't pick them back up. Let the Lord deal with your burden. You know. We can give everything to God so many times. We want to control it, but we can't. We give our burdens to God. We pray every day, all along. Every day, celebrate God. He will shape your worries into prayer. He will shape your worries into prayers. And then the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and mind, and you will not have a fearful heart. When we spend time with God, we are not afraid. In fact, it's quite the opposite. We are filled with peace and joy, and our hope is in Him, and it grows. We know that God is the highest authority and he loves us. We are made strong because the joy we have in him is our strength. He will show you the path of life as we have presence, as we have fullness of joy in his presence. Without God, there is no hope in life for anything. In the future, in eternity with the devil. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. When we realize who God is and who Jesus is and why Jesus came for us, we realize the horrific condition that our soul is and we should be afraid. Sin belongs to the devil 
and the devil hates God, and anyone that serves the devil cannot serve God. Fear and anxiety are paralyzing products of worry. You know, don't be anxious about anything, but be in prayer, petition, thanksgiving. Present all your requests to God. I just love that. Take your worries today to God. Leave them there. Don't pick them back up. You know, the peace of God will come upon you as you give your worries to him. Like I said in the beginning, fear is a powerful emotion. But we can give it all to God. We cannot have a fearful heart, but we can have a hopeful heart. God will take any hurt or disappointment in our lives if we trust him. We will not walk in fear, but walk in freedom. Today, look at your heart. Is it fearful about something? Give all your anxiety and worries to God. He will give you strength. Thank you today for listening to Darla, an inspirational moment. Look at your heart. If you are fearful about something, trust God with it. Thank you for listening, and you have a wonderful day. And don't live in fear. Live in freedom.